images, imagine that you're one of these images and you have this sense that you're making your own decision. You're wherever you're moving to is what you have chosen to go to. But you're, you're don't exist. You're only an image of the disco ball. The light is shining to the disco ball and then these images starting to appear on the wall. But if this disco ball, if somebody turns off the switch, means no more electricity going to it, and then the ball stops, it's not moving around anymore, what happens to the images? The images disappear. There is no more images. Now imagine you're one of those images. You think you're making your own decisions, you think you're doing your own thing, but you don't even exist. Non-existing. It's only an image. That's all there is. That image is, doesn't have its own power source. It doesn't, it's not an entity that is running on its own. It is a reflection of the disco ball. It just does not exist. It's illusion. And that's what is happening here. When we're talking about awakening, self-awakening, self-realization, to awaken to the truth of who we are is to wake up to the illusion you're living in. Wake up to this image that you think that you are waking up from that one to the truth of who you are, of realizing that you're not this expression that has its own independence. You are an expression of the very source, but you don't have your own independence. You're being drowned. You're in someone else's dream. Someone is dreaming you, which we call it God. God is dreaming you. You're not dreaming it, you're being dreamt. So now you're kind of start to open yourself up to this and you're waking up. And then the question comes that then why is the world like this? Why would God dream this world? Why would God create this world? Why in this world we have to have wars? We have to have children being born uh, disabled, disadvantaged. Why in Ethiopia millions of people had to go through starvation and have such a horrible life? why there is human trafficking, why there is rape, why there is all these different things. Why do they exist? Why would God create such a ruthless life? What's the point of it? Well, it's also created a lot of beauty too. There's a lot of good stuff, beautiful stuff, and there's a lot of ugly stuff. They're all simultaneously existing in this plane of consciousness. Simultaneously, you have both of them. You have the good, you have the bad. You got the, the light, you have the darkness. You have the white, you have black. All of them are here simultaneously. So why? Well, let me ask you this question. Let me put you in a position of the infinite. Infinite, pay attention, infinite, your infinity. You're unlimited. You are everything, you're everywhere. And it's only one, so it's only you. And millions of years go by and you're yourself and you're in this position of absolute silence and nothing is going on. It's just the being. 
It's completely empty. It's completely silent. It's completely still. And millions of millions of years go by and there's a moment that you get bored and you say, okay, I'm bored of being the infinite and I want to try something. What do I look like? Because I have nothing to compare myself to. I just am. And I've been here ever since the ever since. So I want to see myself. Let me have a mirror. What do I look like? So you create duality. You have something that you can look at yourself. Ah, I'm interesting. What else can I be? Well, let me create more of myself. Oh, wow. Okay. I see this dude. He's got brown hair with a little bit of blonde in it. And well, let me create another one that has a smaller nose. And let me create one that has blue eyes. And let me create one that has black skin with an Afro. And let me create one that is super white. And let me create one that his eyes are Asian, you know. Let me just keep creating different ones. Ha, huh, wow, that's interesting. I like, I like what I'm creating. So let me create different patterns. So for a number of years, you're creating all these angels and everyone's lovey-dovey and everything is nice and everything is just Christ consciousness and Mother Teresa and everyone's very kind to everybody and you live that for a few million years and then you get bored of that. You say, you know what? I'm tired of this. I want some action. So why don't I create Chanky's Khan? Why don't I create a mean, badass ninja warrior who wants to conquer the world or go conquer other countries and and gets into actions and starts killing. Oh, that's really fun. I like war and action. So now it creates that. So it creates this badass army that is about to go on a rampage and taking over other countries and taking slaves and killing and raping. And But who is killing? Who and who is raping who? It's the same one that is creating this badass army is going after this other nation. So the source is playing both sides. Here is the aggressor and it's attacking this nation. But it's also this one too. It's both of them. The source is playing both sides simultaneously at one place. Why? Because it's infinite. It can be anything at once at any moment and experience all these different things. So in this part is playing being the aggressor and aggressive and attacking. And this part is being the one which is being attacked. So here is about to conquer. Here is about to be conquered. So in one place is experiencing fear, anxiety, and desperation. On the other part is experiencing taking over and the excitement of killing or raping or, or dominating. It's experiencing both sides simultaneously because it can. Simply because it can do it. And it's imagining it's its own imaginations. So nothing's really happen at the end of the day. It's happening, it's in own imaginations. So it's in own imagination, 100,000 people attack this other nation and they kill everybody. But it happened in the imagination. It never happened in reality. 
nobody ever got killed and nobody ever attacked anyone else. It's just being imagined. But the imagination is so vivid that it appears to be real. 